two more breaths here. Good. Let that extend his leg out. And back to center tabletop. And let's give ourselves one pack cow. Kind of center out the spine. And back to center. Bringing our left arm up. Exhale, thread it through the right. Raising our left heel on the mat. Here and thread the needle. Maybe you want to extend your right leg. Remembering that belly bend to the spine. Making sure we're engaging our bond this year. Breathing deep in and out through your nose. One more breath. And coming back to center tabletop here. We're going to bring our right leg, place it behind left, kind of in a, kind of like a curtsy lunge here. And we're just going to sit back. Letting that back stretch out. Pressing your weight into your fingertips. One more breath here. And unwinding, coming back to center tabletop. Bring our right, our left leg, crossing it over the right, and sitting back. Breathing your ujjayi breath. Gaze is down in your mat, pressing the your weight into your fingertips here, puffing up in between your shoulders. Feeling that back leg stretch. One more breath. And coming back to center tabletop. That's what I mean for bound creatures. We're going to extend our right arm out. And then when you're ready, extend your left leg out. You can stay here. Or if you want to juice this up just a little bit, you can cross over the elbow knee for five rounds. Two, three. Four, good. Five, awesome. Now pull that balance reacher back out. Belly button to the spine. One more breath. And release back to center tabletop. Maybe we want to work on those wrists for a moment here. So maybe pulling them back or onto the top of the wrist. Whatever makes them feel good. Kind of like here or rotating them back. Kind of work those wrists. Good. 
All right, now setting up for balance scissors on the other side, extending our left arm, and then when you're ready, your right leg. Belly bent into the spine. Let's breathe your ujjayi breath and cross over for elbow to knee. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Hold that balance. Belly button to the spine here. Back to center tabletop. Just curl those toes under on the mat. And push up to your first down dog. Breathing your ujjayi breath here. Need to pedal your feet back and forth. You want to relieve your wrist, push your weight into your thumb and index finger. Relieving weight off of your wrist. Couple more breaths here and down dog. So we're gonna walk up and step to a forward fold. Inhaling halfway lift, thinking flat back, exhale fold. Grabbing your elbows here, letting your head hang heavy for ragdoll. Maybe you want to sway side to side, maybe not. Making sure not to lock your knees, so kind of gently let them go out. All right, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly, slow control. Maybe you're using that core. Rolling up to a forward fold. We need to adjust our cameras. Let's get a drink of water. Here in a forward fold, we're going to inhale, roll our shoulders back. Palms facing the front. One more, inhale, roll your shoulders back. Good, now we're going to step back, step our left foot back for warrior one on the right. So that right knee should be bent at a 90 degree angle. The back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Making sure our hips are nice and square to the wall in front of you. Arms overhead and pinkies facing one another. Good. Let's hold this warrior one, belly button to spine. Let's work that core a little bit. Make this hour count. Gaze up through your fingertips if that feels good to you. We're going to open up to the overdrawn to two, warrior two. So let's make that back foot parallel to the back of the mat, keeping that right knee still bent at a 90 degree angle. So 
flipping your front hands up and let's reach back for peaceful warrior. Good, peaceful warrior. Yes. Right palm facing down at the mat, gaze up through your fingertips and come around for extended side angle. So right forearm to right thigh. Left arm reaches overhead, palm facing the mat. Trying to get your chest square to the wall in front of you. So for rounding, then open up that chest, square it off to the wall. Thinking little to no weight on your side. One more breath here. Windmill your hands to the mat. Step back and take your vidasa. Remembering those chaturanga elbows, not chest elbows. And if you want to do your vinyasa on your knees, that's a great option as well. A meeting in down dog. Pedal those feet back and forth. Remember not to lock your knees, so nice and relaxed. So we're going to bring our left leg up, plant it in between your hands, and come up for warrior one on the left. Remembering square hips, so they're kind of bowed out a little bit, square them off to the wall in front of you. That front knee should be bent at a 90 degree angle. Belly bent to spine. Let's do two more breaths here. We can, we can do this. We can hold this. Good. Let's open up to warrior two. We have a draw center two. Making that back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Flip your front hand up and reach it back for Peaceful Warrior. Gaze up through your fingertips here. Remembering to breathe your Ujjayi breath throughout your practice. Okay. <sighs> <clears throat> and bring your forearm to the side for extended side angle. And again, if we're rounding, square your chest to the wall in front of you. Palm, right palm facing the, the floor. Gaze up through your fingertips. Good. Belly button spine here. One more breath. Window your hands to the mat. Step back to take your piyasa. Remembering to rotate, rotate those elbows in and take your vinyasa.
Breathing in down dog here. Pedal your feet back and forth. We're going to walk stepper jet to a forward fold now. <clears throat> Inhaling halfway lift. Exhale fold. Inhaling, looking up, reaching up to the ceiling. Give yourself a little back bend here. Now let's sit down in our imaginary chair. Knees together, toes together. Belly button to spine. Good. Pinkies rotated towards one another, gaze up at the ceiling. Shoulders nice and relaxed. <clears throat> Hands to heart center here. We're going to twist this chair to the right. So left elbow to right knee. <clears throat> Making sure we're checking back in with those knees. Making sure they're nice and aligned. Engage those bondas here. Draw that belly button back to spine. And breathe your ujjayi breath. Exhale, hold, release this chair, wiggle it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, look up and reach up. Give yourself a little back bend. Sink back down into your chair. Pinkies rotated towards one another. Make sure your knees are together, toes are together. Good. One more breath here in chair. On that exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Twisting this chair on the left, right elbow to left knee. Beautiful. A few more breaths here. Just a few more. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet, arms a distance apart here. Bring your hands all, all the way underneath your feet. Toes meeting your wrists if possible. Coming in for Kata hands under feet. You can even give your wrists a nice little massage. Breathing 
Remembering not to lock your knees up. Belly button to spine. Just breathe. All right, so releasing those hands to the mat. Let's step back and take the vinyasa. Nice and slow to control. Meeting in down dog. We're going to walk, step, or jump to a forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, look up and reach up. Hands to side, mountain pose. Good. Now we're going to work and play with tree on the right. So we're just going to plant all four corners of the left foot into the mat, or if you want to step off the mat and focus on the floor for more stability. Using something to help with balance, either the wall or the sofa. And when you're ready, bring your tree up on the right. Focusing on something very still in front of you. Making sure your hips are nice and square. Good. Belly bent to spine and just be still and breathe. And let's release that tree on the right and kind of hover that knee and slowly set it down. Good. Take out the left, left leg. Good. And let's plant all four corners of the mat or the floor on the right foot. Planting all four corners of the mat. And when you're ready, nice and stabilized, bring your tree up where you would like it on the left. Check back in with our hips, making sure they're nice and square. Hands at heart center or letting your branches flow today and maybe hopes of sunshine rather than the liquid sunshine. Being still and breathing. And when you're ready, let's release this tree trunk, cover it as we slow with control, release it to the mat. Taking out the right foot. Yes. Now let's make our way back to the mat and let's get ready for just a nice high plank. Coming to our knees for plank is another option. It still gives you lots of benefit with working the core. So let's hold this high plank for 30 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twen
And go back to child's pose. Back to a child's pose. Good. Now let's go back to a high point. And let's get ready for a side plank on the right. Coming to that right knee is an option. Or just hold this side plank here. Awesome. Everyone's looking really good. Good form. We'll spend a few more breaths here. Belly bent to spine. Let's come back to high plank. And let's get ready for side plank on the left. Side plank here or coming down to that left knee. It's great. Belly button to spine here, holding this side plank. A few more breaths. Rolling back to high point. Hold this. And then push to our down dog. Where you can pedal those feet back and forth. Awesome. Okay. Good, good. Let's bring that right foot forward and plant it in between the hands. And let's come up for Virabhadrasana 2, which is Warrior 2. Remembering that back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. So right knee has been at a 90 degree angle. Let's straighten that front foot, the front, the right leg. Shoot your hips back. Lean forward as if someone is pulling you, and then drop down for triangle pose. We want to think about standing in between two panes of glass. One line of energy here. Keeping our right hand right here at our chin or ankle. We're maybe holding on to a block if we have it. Good form, ladies. Okay. Two more breaths here. To rotate the right foot forward, and we're going to come up to a five pointed star. Okay. And here we're going to squat down in our goddess squat. So here we're in a goddess squat. Good. Good.
holding the squat here. Two more breaths. Okay. Coming back up, we're in a five pointed star again. We're going to clasp our hands behind our back. Rotate the shoulders towards one another. Link your arms out. And nice little forward fold. Good. Releasing your hands to the mat nice and slowly. Pulling weight down into the mat. Enjoying this forward fold here. Maybe you want to do some lunge, side to side lunge stretches or split prep rather. Kind of do what feels good to you. This is your practice. Let's make it your own. Any movement that feels good. Good. All right, now from this forward fold, we're going to come into a um, velocity squat while our legs are out wide. So, kind of good. We're here in a Malasana squat. Now that we've done a wide-legged fold, opening up the hips a little bit more. Hands at heart center. Maybe we want to sit on a block chair or a bolster or a pillow if we have it. Whatever we have at home. Um, hands at heart center. Pressing the elbows into the inner thighs to kind of open up the hips a little bit more. Going to that edge of the <clears throat> good. Looking good. <clears throat> Sitting up nice and tall as if someone is pulling through the crown of your head with a spring. Just breathing in this melodic squat. Good. Now we can play with pro here if you want to, or just stay in this loss in a squat. It's up to you. Good. Awesome. Now, placing our hands on the mat, we're going to come into down dog. Find your way back to down dog. We're going to work that other side. So, left foot plants in between the hands. We're going to come up to warrior two on the left. Good. Belly button to spine. And square hips. Good. 
Don't feel good. Straightening the front leg, putting your hips back, leaning forward as if someone is pulling you through your uh, with left hand and dropping down for triangle pose. Using a block or something to so hold on to here at your left foot is optional. We're thinking about one line of energy here. Gaze up through our fingertips. You find yourself rounding, open, square your chest. Open up your heart, square your chest to the wall in front of you. Good. One more breath here. Rotate that left foot forward. Come up to that five-pointed star here, nice and slow. Placing those hands on the hips, taking a little bit more of a wider step, getting shimmying those elbows close to one another as possible. Inhaling deep and exhaling, forward folding. Nice and slowly. Good. Placing your hands on the mat here. Maybe we go side to side with those lunge stretches. Maybe doing some split prep. Good. Spend a couple more breaths here and forward fold. All right. We're going to find our way back to down dog. Bring our right leg up and bring your knee to nose three times. We're prepping for water falling into pigeon here. So knee to nose. Good. Now on that third one, waterfall the right leg down into a pigeon. We need to sit on a blanket or kind of roll up a blanket and put it underneath, underneath you to kind of make sure your hips are square. Looks good. Hanging out in pigeon here. <clears throat> We're going to inhale, exhale, fold, bringing your forehead to the mat. <sighs> Inhaling, coming back up. 
Exhale and fold. Inhaling, coming on up. And we can stay here in this pigeon. Or we can reach our left hand behind us here and go for a bind. Whether that's grabbing hold of our foot, our ankle, our toe. Or if you want to kind of shimmy it in between your elbow here in the crease. Good. Bringing our right arm up. Gaze up through the fingertips. And slowly releasing this. Keeping that leg back for down dog. Good. Bringing that left leg up, shoot it straight up. Bring that knee to nose three times. Preparing it for pigeon. Two, three. Waterfall it down. Good. Settling in here, squaring your chest to the your left knee. Inhaling. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale, exhale and fold. Nice and settled in here. Inhaling, coming up. We can hang out here in pigeon or we can reach around and take that bind. Maybe we grab that foot. Or we've got a strap, we can use it. Try to shimmy it in between the crease of the elbow. Bring that left arm up if you like. And then behind your head, maybe going for that bind, connecting fingers. Looks good. All right, now, shooting those feet back. Coming into a high point. And then coming into just a comfortable seated position here. Right. Now we're going to bring our feet up into the groin here as close as we can. Opening up those feet up like a book, as wide as you can. Sitting up nice and tall, inhaling deep. That ujjayi breath, exhaling full, leaning your forehead towards the mat, towards your feet. In hopes for one day, meeting the mats with your forehead. Good. A couple more 
breaths here. Remembering that Ujjayi breath and engaging those bandhas, pulling that belly back into the spine. <laughs> Inhaling, coming up. And extending both feet out. Good. We're going to inhale nice and tall. Arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Grabbing something, whether it's your shins, your feet, your toes. Maybe you want to take the bind around your feet. With every exhale, try to get a little closer to your leg. We're going to inhale, coming up, bringing our legs out wide. Good. We're going to square our chest to the left extended leg. So instead of sitting here and folding, we're going to square our chest off to the left extended leg. Inhale, exhale, fold into that left leg. Grabbing something, your, your ankles, your shins, your feet. Maybe working on taking that bind. Good. Inhaling, coming on up. Coming back to center here, we're going to inhale, then exhale, fold to center. Pulling, extending our arms as far as they'll go. And inhaling, coming up. And coming to the right side here, we're going to square our chest to the right extended leg. Inhaling deep, exhaling, folding on the right side here, grabbing something, our chin, our foot. We're maybe taking that bind around our foot. <clears throat> All right, and coming back up, making our way uh, to a pigeon, I mean, not pigeon, boat position here. So, both can be in a few different ways, both can be here. Boat can be here, boat can be all the way out here. So let's grab the inside of our thighs here. Rotate them out and up. Releasing our boat. Let's hold our boat for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release your boat. Good. Okay. Let's coming back, coming down flat to our backs. Let's give ourselves a happy baby. Roll side to side, give your spine a nice massage. Hugging the knees to the chest. Rolling around on your sacrum here. Hugging the knees to chest, dropping them to the right side. Placing your right hand on the knees. Gaze in the opposite direction. Time twist. Breathing your ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. We're going to be here for a few more breaths. Enjoy this twist. And slowly and mindfully coming out of this twist here, hug those knees to chest, roll around if that feels good to you. And when you're ready, drop those knees to the left, placing your left hand on the left knees, pressing them down closer to the floor, gaze in the opposite direction, Breathe in this twist here. Couple more breaths. Deep Ujjayi breath. Slowly and mindfully coming out of this. Everything might be a little creaky. Hug those knees to chest. Roll around on your sacrum. Do gentle movements. Do what feels good to you. Okay, placing the feet on the mat, we're going to come into a supportive bridge. So, take position here, clasping your hands underneath your sacrum, giving the shoulders close to one another, and lifting up for your supportive bridge. Let's try to hold this for five breaths.
and releasing it slowly to the mat. Hug the knees to the chest. Feet back to the mat, and let's come up for supportive bridge once more. Clasping the hands underneath the sacrum, chinning those shoulders close to one another, and lifting up. And slow one vertebrae at a time, releasing your sacrum back to the mat. <clears throat> and let's set up for our shoulder stand sequence here. And we can even do this with legs at the wall or, or just shoulder stand. Or whatever you prefer. So shoulder stand, we're coming up on our elbows, pushing into our sacrum. Thinking about getting our hips back with our shoulders. Making sure you're leaving room from your jaw to your neck, never looking side to side. And we're going to stay here for about five breaths, letting blood flow back to our core. And coming down to plow. Good. All right, so to kind of we'll do plow, and if you want to bring your knees to your ears for deaf man's pose. Good. <clears throat> now releasing this and being flat on our backs, come up to your elbow, making that diamond shape on your sacrum, coming into fish to kind of counteract all of the hunting from plow and shoulder span. Laying back on our elbows, walking those elbows close to one another as possible. Chest up, bringing your chest up and dropping your head back for a nice little heart opener. And then releasing all the way down to the mat, nice and flat for Shavasana. Maybe you want to get your own little Shavasana music playing in the background, or just enjoy the simple sounds that are around you. Releasing all movement from your body. Emptying your mind. Dropping your tongue away from the jaw.
Wiggling your toes and your fingertips. Rolling to your most supportive side. And then up to a nice seated, comfortable seated position. <laughs> Keeping your eyes closed. We're gonna inhale, look up and reach up. Hands and heart center on the exhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me this morning. And may you stay safe and well, and may you go in peace. Namaste. Namaste.